action scenes were shot in Evansville, where the Chicago and Eastern Illinois Railway made an end-to-end -end connection with the Louisville and Nashville at the l and Passenger Depot alongside the Ohio River. The c and &E entered Evansville from the northeast, ran down the middle of Division Street, and jogged over one block to end at the depot, which had run through tracks and a stub-end terminal for Louisville and Nashville trains. The L&N headed west across Pigeon Creek, where its line to St. Louis split off at a Y at North Howell. The L&N's Howell Yard and bustling engine terminal were alongside the line heading south to Louisville and Nashville. Our non-stop steam action opens with a Class L1 Mountain rolling out of Evansville for St. Louis perhaps with train 52, just west of the Y on a wintry day. We are near the same location as train 52 heads for St. Louis behind 482 number 401, just west of the Howell Yard Y. Class H27, at 280 number 1201, switches cars at the north end of Howell Yard. J3, 282 number 1514, runs light in Howell Yard. The coaling tower and roundhouse are behind the locomotive. Times are changing as the all-coach streamliner, the Georgian, from St. Louis to Atlanta, rounds a curve behind a new E7 diesel lettered for both the l &N and its controlled Nashville, Chattanooga and St. Louis Railway. The coaling tower forms a backdrop to J3 Mikado number 1500 as it leaves the roundhouse area at the north end of Howell Yard at Evansville. Note the high headlight. Venerable H27 Consolidation number 1201, built by Baldwin in 1908, switches the north end of Howell Yard. Also in play nearby is C1080 number 2112 built in the L&N's own South Louisville shops in the late teens, switching matchboard wood-sided refrigerator cars. The brakeman uncouples a cut of four reefers, 